So there's so many things that get left out of the translation. Mama didn't say a lot of things because mama didn't know how to say things. Mama was never taught to say things. No one ever told mama. So mama doesn't have a role model basis to do some of the things that are necessary, particularly around sex. Mama didn't tell me the process of getting pregnant. My mother didn't teach us that. She didn't talk about that. It was like, if you don't say anything, about it is we would never get pregnant. We have to put it in historical context. You know, young girls, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, having kids. It's one of those taboo subjects that we don't want to talk about. We don't want to talk about it uh, in the church. We don't want to talk about it in our families. We don't want to talk about it uh, publicly. We just don't want to talk about it. One of the things that we've seen is that children younger and younger are participating in sexual intercourse. They are actually involving themselves in sexual intercourse in elementary school. The perception is, is that young girls have this fantasy about sexual activity. I didn't have the opportunity to fantasize. You know, my fantasy about sex growing up was when they gonna leave me alone. The incest that goes up with our community that we do not want to talk about uncle, mama's boyfriend, and people like to know what I'm talking about. And some of us still think we're studs. You know, I'm a, I am I slept with her and, her and her and her and her and her and go on. And we take no responsibility for our children. Well, it's a real interesting thing that people don't really talk about, you know, when they talk about men that are not in the household supporting their children and the monies that are collected on behalf of the children by the welfare system. And I guess the question for me is, how do we get to a place where people are making more intelligent choices?